presentation of the NBA. And that shot should leave no doubt as to where we are tonight. It's the Toyota Center here in downtown Houston, Texas. Hi everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. With Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. With us tonight, 1990 NBA dunk contest finalist, Kenny the Jet Smith. I remember that 90 event. You were terrific. You were skying all over Man, the place. Man, thanks for having me. But how did they give Dominique that? He did the same dunk three <laughs> times. How you, if you do the same dunk, you're going to get the same score. That doesn't make sense to me. But hey, man, happy to be here. Now let's see how the seeds look out east going into the playoffs. Taking a look at Cleveland. They've got their eye on the number one seed as the season moves into the final stretch. Currently first place in the standings. And guys showing no signs of letting up. Well, I think for Cleveland, they must have reached every goal they set for themselves this season. For them to be this high in the standings this late in the season, what an accomplishment. I don't know of anyone who thought the road to the championship would travel through their building this season, but that just may be the case. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Kevin, thank you. Houston now has a star pairing with Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Harden said of his longtime friend, his athleticism and ability to draw attention opens the floor for our team. That's on the court. Off the court, I've known him since I was 10 years old. That friendship can carry over to the court as well. Kevin, it shows on the floor. Oh, that's a great story. David, thank you. And when it comes to Andre Drummond, Kenny, we talk about that rare size and athleticism, but he's also really built out his game. Yes, Drummond, um, you know, came in just as a dunker. Now he's a better passer. Uh, probably one of the top rebounders every year. He says he's the best e rebounder in NBA history. You believe that? Uh, in NBA history? Uh, no. Okay, I'm just saying. I didn't either. But he says it. He's, got, he's up there. But you know what? You're supposed to believe it. Yeah, he does. If you don't believe it, who is? No, that's right. And I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Cleveland's starting group. They've got Drummond. Arlindo's out there with Dying. Then it's a coral. And it's Love in at the power forward position. And for Houston, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Green is out there with Kyle O'Quinn. And it's Gordon in at the three, the small forward. Just four to shoot. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Is there a player in the league who makes these late clock situations look that easy? I don't think so. Russell Westbrook, the master. Now here's Love. The pass to Sullivan. Here's Drummond. Lays it up off the glass. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. And here's Houston. Harden surveying the D. Securing his spot on the highlight reel. Harden gets creative on a monster slam. And Drummond throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Now here's Gordon. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. There's the dish to Green. Clock at four. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Here's Sullivan. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Boy, not a bad beginning. Three for four from the floor. Pretty good start. Outside, Gordon. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Here's Westbrook. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. You ask around more and more team trainers focused on the importance of sleep for peak performance. Was that something that you ever paid attention to, Kenny, when you were playing? Yes. I never played an NBA game. Maybe very few without taking a nap. Day on game. But how about like a night's sleep? Did you say, I got to get seven hours? I got to get eight I, I, hours? I would say I, I, my thing was I, I would set my timer for, for 12.30 a.m. 
to make sure that I'm in bed by 12.30. So that would be my alarm clock. Not to wake up, but yeah. to go to bed by that time. Great. Yeah, I, I'm, I actually, I, my nap was more important than my night of sleep. Because also back then, we travel like after games, a lot of times you didn't get to the next city to 2, 3 in the morning, and you're still wired up. So, yep. like, that nap, man, was vital. Vital. There's never a question about Westbrook Hart or his drive. He's a relentless catalyst for his team. Okoro passes to Love. Now, here's Okoro. Here's Drummond. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And, guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that moment. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And he has been on another level this past month, getting Eastern Conference Player of the Month, Dimes. Basketball is one of the few sports where good offense beats good defense, and nobody has had better offense than him lately. I don't think there's anybody in the league that could have slowed him down on offense. He was unstoppable, to say the least. Now here's Westbrook. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Portland. And, guys, he was also huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. And so it's Drummond with it. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. Last time they met in Cleveland. And the last time they faced this club, rebounding was their big advantage. For Houston, they've gone three or five, shooting the ball so far. Here's Harden. Great tee that time from Love. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. And Westbrook pulls it down. Rockets trail. Kenny, you've been an NBA analyst for over two decades, which is hard for me to believe. You look so young, like you go out there and play right now, but I'm sure this job has changed for you in that time, right? I think the job has not changed, actually, because when I first got here, I used to watch film every day. And actually, when you first started as an analyst? Every day for one year. Did you? Every day. And then you found out that what? I found out, I sat with the executive producer, and I figured out what I needed to say, doing why, when, and what. Then I just use that now. I just go back to those meetings then. There's nothing changed for me from that first year, which I knew nothing, to now after I knew something. Being the award-winning broadcaster you are now. It's that first year. Yeah, I, I will concur with his majesty. <laughs> the Jack. Thank you. Thank you. I've never been called the majesty. <laughs> Here's Dimes following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Pass to Okoro. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Dimes, guarded by Harden. Sullivan, the jumper from the free throw line is good. Dimes got his third basket of the night right there. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Harden has a wide open look. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Do you see how versatile Harden is? He turns any spot on the floor into a scoring opportunity. No good that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. Houston's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. From past the arc. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Now here's Drummond. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Hawks in Atlanta. He was also an excellent setup man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. Harden, an easy two points on the layup. Harden's got six. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. The rebound by Jeff Green. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Westbrook finds Harden. There's the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. 
For Cleveland, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Kenny, I'm going to ask you to look into your crystal ball while you uh, are here sitting by us courtside. In, in five years' time, who do you think will be the top five teams in the league? Five years. Go ahead. Well, 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 Don't well, you think like gonna... Dallas would probably? Dallas, Dallas yes. will be there. Uh, the Lakers probably still be there if Anthony Davis is uh, healthy. Um, the New Orleans Pelicans will be around. If Zion turns Zion out to be. Zion is what we think he is right now. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, it's a crap shoot. The Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks. Yeah. Yeah, if that's five years, the Milwaukee Bucks will still be there. And, and Harden's shot is good. Have to rush Harden off that line. He's downright lethal from out there. So timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. And then for Cleveland, Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Nance comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Sexton in for Garland. They get the rebound. The shot's good from Nance. Nance has got the game tied up here for Cleveland. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Clemens, it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. And it's Thompson with the jam. It always helps to have a big who is willing to find open teammates. Larry Nance proving how unselfish he can be. Here's Clemens. He's covered by Thompson. Makes it off the glass. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Sexton the pass to Nance. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Nance has got his second basket of the night. How about the confidence in the catch and shoot of Mr. Larry Nance Jr.? Okay, we see you. Here's Clemens. Thompson with the rebound. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. And something from your era that is always talked about, Kenny, hand-checking. How big a difference did hand-checking make for defenders? Uh, it made the game easier for defenders, without question. You know, I, I actually, our series with Greg is the reason there's no hand-checking. Yeah. Because Derek Harper was so much was He was best. so aggressive. Yeah, so right? best, I always felt that was a guy... I mean, first of all, he was big and strong, and when he put that hand on you, <laughs> felt good, didn't he care? Did he yeah. like that? He liked that. He you could feel it, right? That's what you're saying. Feel it. And he could literally guide you yeah. where he wanted you to go. Without question. You know, make no mistake, guys, one of the more effective second-round picks we have in the NBA, Tucker provides a steady diet of production. All free throws, good from Tucker. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work, and it pays dividends. Nance passes to Okoro. And a Kuro throws it down. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Houston's gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Here's Clemens. That one off the back iron and out. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. And a Kuro throws it down. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Here's Clemens. 14 points from him the last game against Portland. And a lot of those points came at the free throw line. Really because of his aggression. He, he was playing the game with force, always catching his man on his heels. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Clemens. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. And I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Here's Clemens following the score by Cleveland. To the paint. Here's McLemore. The teardrop falls in. 
Well, oh, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. And, and former sixth man of the year winner Eric Gordon is such an integral part of this Rockets run of success. Found his niche as a secondary scorer, a physical player. He can hold his own defensively. Well said, Kenny. That's it, man. It's yeah, almost that, like, like I was reading. I, I know. It, like, it just came right to your mind. <laughs> Bang, there it was, right? It was, like, etched in my mind on stone. <laughs> JaVale McGee's checked in for Tristan Thompson. JaVale McGee. Cleveland leading by seven. Sexton the pass to Nance. Outside Sexton. The Cavaliers with a new 14. Stolen away. We've got 113 left to play here in the first. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Cleveland shooting their first free throws of the night right here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. The first free throw is good. So he gets them both. 105 left in the first quarter. Here's Clemens. Good on the triple. Clemson's got seven. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Sexton kicks to McGee. Cleveland moving the ball around. Sexton's shot is good. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Clemens. Seven points in the game. And that one drops. He's got nine. And so Sexton will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Six-point lead. McGee, the pass to Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. What I love about Larry Nance Jr. is he doesn't need the ball to be effective, but when he does get the ball, he shoots with high percentage. Pass to McLemore. Here's Clemens. Nine points in the game so far. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Nance, right side. Here's Sexton. Offline from the high post. One second left. And so it's Cleveland with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. We've got more in store for you right after this. Naturally a ball-dominant player, James Harden talked to us about others setting him up a little bit more. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. Of course, I'm playing off the ball is something that I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable doing. Like, I'm, a, I'm able to catch and shoot. I'm able to, to play off, you know, on the wings. Giving their offense another dynamic. And it also helps them preserve some energy for those big moments in the big games. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, well, what's your take? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Sexton is out there with Dine. Then there's Larry Nance. And there's JaVel McGee. And it's a Coro in at the small forward. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, we all know that there are some people who dislike James Harden's style of play. They're bored watching him shoot free throws. He said, I see how teams guard me and find ways to exploit it. I just outthink the game, and I'm faulted for it. Kevin, that may be, but it's hard to argue with the results. Back to you. You're right. One of the top scorers in league history, David. Thanks for that report. 
Kenny, of course, you were nicknamed the Jet for a reason. Who do you think is the fastest player right now going end-to-end -end in the league? With the ball, right now is De'Aaron Fox. With the ball. Russell Westbrook has probably just Ben Simmons isn't too far to behind them either. But he, he's more speed and, and power. Yes. But in talk about... But I, had a, I, had a, I had a thing one time, and it was a... The, the, they scored. The team scored with 7 minutes and 17 seconds. I scored. It was 7 minutes and 15 seconds. Two, two and seconds. So, but, and it was only on an outlet. Yeah. It wasn't a long pass. You got it in stride. In stride, and in two seconds laid it Wow. In. So De'Aaron Fox could do that. That's, 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 yeah, that's fast. fast. Yeah. That's jet like. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, the name. <laughs> now, here's Okoro. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Six to shoot. The shot by Sexton, no good. The Rockets have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And that one time drops out, for him. Timeout called Cleveland. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And let's take this chance now to break out the list of the league's leading teams in the steals department. Fifth best, the Rockets. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket, and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. Now, here's Garland. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. Count it, and the Cavalier lead has been cut down now to just six in the basket from Eric Gordon. A Hall of Fame playmaker. Don't forget that Westbrook average. That's right, average of triple-double for three straight seasons. Here's Gordon. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They've led by as many as 11 points. They get to take on the Magic in Orlando after this one. That will be the fifth game of this six-game road trip. Okay, the initiative from the young bull, Colin Sexton, as some like to call him. How about that drive? Houston's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Love. And a quick check of the stats for Drummond. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. He's putting up about 16 points a game, 13 rebounds, and 6 assists. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's, he's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Someone the other players look up to. And it's often said, this is an era of player empowerment in the NBA. Jet, do you think things are different from when we play? Oh, for sure. Because of social media, because of the access to travel, players are more connected than, than more than any other time. Uh, they do things off the court that we never did off the court. First time I met Greg was in a barbershop, you know, yeah. or like by happenstance. We weren't planning on meeting him. Yeah. The difference back. Mike the Barber. Shout yeah, out Mike yeah, the Barber. Mike, Mike Dean. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? If you because if you go back to like I era, like I used to tell me, like you could be the best guard on the East Coast, and you may have never seen the best guard on the West Coast. Yeah. Because you didn't have it. Like nowadays, these kids grow up competing against each other all the time, and they see each other on a regular basis. Very early age. Early age. Yeah. And players today know their value. Yes. They know what their value is to their franchise. Oh, free throws, good from Kevin Love. Well, a big man who can shoot free throws is so critical to a team because you can't get too physical with them. You can run your offense through a late game. Kevin Love brings so much to the table. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. For Houston, they have looked good at the line. Tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. And now it's Westbrook running. He can go all the way. And the basket by Harden. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Okoro passes to Love over Green and Kevin Love. 
the bucket with the assist from Okoro. Well, let's check the boxes. Can he make the three? Yes. Can he score on the interior? Yes. Kevin Love, give me a little mid-range, sir. Now here's Gordon. He's got six. Harden finds Gordon. O'Quinn with it. Six on the shot clock. Harden outside, and the shot goes in. In such a rhythm right now. Feathery touch. He's lighting them up. Timeout called Cleveland. You know, my guess right now is coach wants to talk over this turnover issue. And it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find a steady rhythm offensively. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Kevin Love. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. Unable to get that one. Gordon with the defensive effort. Fires the three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Drummond's got his sixth rebound on the night. Over O'Quinn, and Love gets it to go. Love's got six here in this quarter. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That is his first foul of the game. Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Here's Westbrook. He's got 11. Gordon finds Green. Here's O'Quinn. And O'Quinn slams it in. If you allow Kyle O'Quinn that kind of positioning, turn the lights out. And Thompson throws it down. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. And here's Harden. 18 points for him. From downtown, it falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. I'll tell you, the consistency of a good first quarter leads to a excellent second quarter. Riding the wave here. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so it's Cleveland with it. Garland dishes to Drummond. Sexton for three. They get it back. Here's Thompson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, Thompson, just a spectacular athlete and so muscular. He is so crafty on how he draws fouls while shooting. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he's kept this percentage at a decent level, right around 74. And so Thompson nails both of them. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Harden outside. Lentz it go with a three. But they recover it. Now, here's O'Quinn, guarded close. Second chance shot. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Harden. Cleveland's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Well, a nice job by Colin Sexton to find the open man. You want to see court awareness from the young gun. Harden outside. Now Gordon. He's got six. Down to five on the shot clock. A good look from Harden. He's off on that one. So Cleveland will take it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. And it's Drummond with the jam. And just a dynamic big man with incredible physical tools. Drummond frequently makes plays above the rim. 
Now, here's Westbrook. 11 points. Oh, my oh, goodness! Oh, wow. What a play! In the rafters on that one. Westbrook giving the fans their money's worth. Cleveland leading by three. Cleveland moving the ball around. And it's Drummond with the jam. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. And it's Harden with the ball for Houston. They host the Kings after this game, and that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. And Green slams it in. Uh, losing your man defensively when Harden has the ball, that's unforgettable. He's the top-tier creator. Houston's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Westbrook passes to Green, and the basket is good. Now just a one-point Cleveland lead. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. There's Garland. It's good from long range. Well, nice rise and fire from range by Darius Garland. The three-point shot so highly valued. Sexton against Harden for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Harden's got 26 points. And the three-pointers are starting to add up. That's his third of the quarter, and it brings him to four on the game. Traps in the tray. And the Cavaliers lead by four. How about the response from Colin Sexton with some range? Floats one. Harden, that's good. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Here's a curl. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one's on Eric Gordon. All oh, the officials are all over that one. The Cavaliers shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. That's good for McCoro. JaVale McGee's checked in for Cleveland. Dimes comes in for Cowan Sexton. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Rockets trail by four. Now, here is Harden. He's coming off a 19. Oh! Uh, we're used to this. The way Harden takes over games is so effortless. It never gets up. And Thompson kicks to McGee. Stolen by Tucker. And it's the Rockets on the break. Harden, that's good. Harden's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. And you can see the importance of that steal. Really a four-point swing with the conversion at the other end. Here's Thompson. Doesn't go that time. And the Rockets take it the other way. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. Thompson's gotten three of his four shots to fall. Hitting 75%. And what about our special guest? Kenny, thanks for taking the time to join us, dropping by. Always a pleasure. You add so much to the broadcast. Man, thanks for having me. This is just great. Thank you. And, Greg, a lot of fun to be joined by Kenny the Jet, huh? As brilliant as he was on the court, he is just as amazing off it. And, you know, Kenny has this amazing knack for describing what he sees with such clarity. Rare gift, and I'm glad he can share it with us. Boy, that's intelligence and effort from Tucker. Picking the ball cleanly, igniting the fast break. Passes to McGee to the inside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. In this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Uh, Thompson knows he needs to keep working on that free throw shot. It definitely needs improvement. The Rockets making a switch here. Waba's checked in. Nancy's checked in for Cleveland. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. And Thompson sends it back. Oh, the former Longhorn Thompson really elevating for the rejection. Love the energy, guys. Jacks up a three. 
That's good. The Houston lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Sullivan. You know, building up confidence as the game goes on. Hit one from behind the arc in the opening period. Two here in the second. Here's Clemens. He's got 15. And Tristan Thompson gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Houston shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And one of the highlights on the season has been their ability to make free throws. How about 82% as a unit? 24 seconds left here in the second. McLemore, the pass to House. Here's Clemens. Four on the shot clock. Here's Tucker. Nance with the rebound. Nance has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. Nance has got four points this quarter. Well, just a tremendous job pursuing the basketball by Larry Nance Jr. and then gets the score to complement the board. James Harden getting it done for Houston. He's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Russell, what's the most important thing for you offensively so far? Just trying to take attack mode, man. Uh, moving the ball. You know, they force you to make the extra pass, and God's doing a good job of that tonight. Just try to come out and give my team some energy. Russell, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the Your folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. And rejoining us here at the table. Hey, he's back, Kenny the Jet Smith. Kudos to you, sir, for your sharp and incisive analysis of the game. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ernie. Thank you. Always a pleasure to break down the game with the great ones. <coughs> Trader. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, yeah, but you have fun over there. Trader. <coughs> I'm back, though. Copycat. <coughs> and now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody. With Kevin Harlan. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Arden and Gordon are out on the wing. Kyle Quinn out there with Green. And it's Westbrook in at the one spot. That's the five for Houston right now. The Rockets trail. Arden outside. There's the triple. The Cavaliers pull it in. Thompson's got six rebounds in the game. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. A different look now for Cleveland. Andre Drummond comes in for Tristan Thompson. And it's a Coro in for Nance. Greg, who would you choose as the best defenders of the NBA pick and roll? Oof. That is a, a tough one. This will surprise some people. Uh, Nikola Jokic is one of the better big men defending the pick and roll in part because of his instincts. You know, he doesn't impress me in terms of his physical attributes, but his mind, the ability to anticipate, having a sense of how perimeter players play the game, he's a guy that's terrific. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an oldie but goodie in Andre Iguodala. He's still terrific. Uh, and, and I pick bigger guys because you've got to be able to switch that and guard smaller players. And, you know, at the center and, and the swing position, those are two guys that still are very alive. And O'Quinn slams it in. We know that Russell Westbrook will have the ball in his hands and initiate their offense. And how about that superior passing? Here's
there's Drummond. That's in there. Love with the assist. 16 points for Andre Drummond. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And Westbrook gets it to go. Boy, it will take more than that kind of defense to stop this guy. Russell Westbrook so fierce on the interior. Here's Love. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. 80 percent shooting to start the third four for five outside Westbrook back to Gordon Harden outside he kicks it to Gordon now the pass to Westbrook and he gets it to go hitting off the back of the rim Westbrook's got 17 now you seem to understand as teammate when Russell Westbrook is starting to find his rhythm because these guys consistently get him the rock and he delivers. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. And the Rockets with possession here. The Cavaliers making the shot. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Here's Dimes guarded by Hart. Drummond and Drummond throws it down and this is who Drummond can be an offensive anchor who can dominate once he gets cooking the three from Harden it's Drummond with the rebound Drummond's got his seventh rebound here tonight in the first half he was on fire from range but he hasn't knocked one down since oh Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here is Harden. He's got 39. Westbrook passes to Green. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got his sixth assist on the night. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Garland's got four points now in the quarter. Tremendous balance and body control. Darius Garland, no stranger to finishing inside. Westbrook passes to Harden. Nailed from three-point land. Harden's got 42 in the game. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. And the league's preeminent practitioner of the step-back three. James Harden is as good as it gets. And you know, like the sky hook, an unguardable shot. And paired with his dribble drive, a two-move torture chamber. Here's Green, following the basket by Kevin Love. Here's Dimes. 28 points for him. Pass to Okoro. Drummond trying to get himself free. A nice shot by Okoro. And thanks to that step back, Harden already the all-time leader in unassisted three-point shots. And not to mention four-point plays. And up until recently, teams built elaborate offenses to create their three-point looks. Harden the first to do it one-on-one -on -one with volume and efficiency. It's his first trip to the line. And the line for your Rockets, James Harden. Taking two shots. The first one falls. And the southpaw stroke of Harden is just beautiful to watch. When he's cooking, he's one of the more lethal scorers in our league. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. And Cleveland also making a change. Sexton's checked in. Here's Dimes. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got four rebounds now tonight. It's Harden with the drive and the jam by Harden. And once Harden has momentum behind him, watch out. I love seeing the beard flush it down there with some power. Inside, Drummond. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Sexton's got his fifth assist in this one. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Houston. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Westbrook can absorb contact, and he's got great focus and great finishing ability. Drummond passes to Love over Green. It's rebounded by Houston. The defense not a factor there. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize. Gordon with no one around. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. 
Back to Love. And the dunk by Love. You know, just so smart. Kevin Love, tricky, crafty, you name it, he's got it in his game. Rockets trail by four. Harden outside. Cleveland's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. A Coro shot is off. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Yep, that one goes. Westbrook's got eight here in the quarter. Boy, if Westbrook gets into the paint, that's a problem. He is tenacious attacking the cup. And stolen by Gordon. To the middle. Here's Tucker. It's good. This game is all even. Tucker's got seven points in the game. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Launches a three, and he's good on the three ball. 31 points for Dimes. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. And here's Harden for three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Cleveland leading by three. Great pass to set up the lay-in. 33 points for Dimes. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Now a timeout called by Houston. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts mm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Cleveland's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Down low, here's McGee. Plays it up and banks it in. McGee has got his first two points of the night. Well, to me, that's the next step for Larry Nance. This guy is so unselfish, but we don't yet know how good a facilitator he can become. Here's Clemens. 20 points for him. Tucker with the ball. And Okoro pulls it down. And David Mwaba picks up the foul. That's his first foul. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. The Cavaliers shooting 71% all in all in this one. They've been brilliant offensively. Here's Nance. It's rebounded by Houston. Here's Clemens. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Let's the three fly. Another three for Cleveland. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Here's Clemens after Cleveland got the three-pointer. Just five on the clock. Here's Moabon. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Here's Sullivan. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Dimes got 38 points. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. Here's Clemens. No good again that time. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. You know, possessions like that will help them feel good going into that final quarter. Here's Clemens. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Nance in the jam by Larry Nance. 
great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition timeout, timeout. opportunities to end. Now a timeout called by Houston. And, and no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. Well, I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. The Cavaliers making a change here. Thompson's checked in. And, and let's check out some stats. Here are the numbers for Nance. He's around 10 points per game, six rebounds, and three assists. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Here's Sullivan. No good on the three. That gets trailed by eight. There's 138 left here in the third quarter. And Sexton slams it in. You can see the explosive athleticism that caught the eye of NBA scouts Sexton with the dunk. The Rockets shooting percentage, 59%. The offense is running smoothly. Here's Clemens, defended by Sexton. Clemens, no good. Cleveland leading by 10. Here's Sullivan. Boom, he jams it straight down. Gets the ball up the court immediately, and that pass to find the man cutting to the bucket couldn't have been timed any better. Pass to House. Here's Nwaba. He's covered by Thompson. The Rockets with another miss. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. And for Houston, they're shooting 47% since getting things started in the third quarter. Passes it to Tucker. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Tucker's got his third basket of the night. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. That one goes. Count it. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Here's Clemens, defended by Sexton. And so it's Cleveland, sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And we'll be right back after this. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision-making at every position. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Rockets trail by 14, and Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Larry Nance out there with Thompson. Then there's Sexton. Then there's Garland. And it's Sullivan and up the two. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the board has been impressive. Well, they've decided to give Tristan Thompson a little bit more opportunity to handle the ball, and what a pretty delivery there. And for Houston, their shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Here's Clemens, there's McLemore, and he banks in the layup. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. Cleveland leading by 14. And here is Garland. 
Now McLemore kicks to O'Quinn. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Nance. You don't necessarily have to be explosive. For O'Quinn there with the solid frame, it's about being smart and drawing contact. And he knocks down the first one. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done differently, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire. But that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of those. Yes. Here's House. Count that one. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Free throw drops for House. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Outside Sexton. And Nance kicks to Sexton. Trying to find Thompson. He gets it to him. Garland. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Well, I like the no hesitation. Darius Garland knows you have to be assertive in catch and shoot situations. It's Harden with the drive. Banked in off the glass. Harden's got 48. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. Now here's Nance. Cleveland moving it around. Nice shot by Thompson. And the Cavaliers lead by 14. At this point, with the way Tristan Thompson is percolating, if you're a teammate, you've got to find him. He's cooking right now. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here's Harden. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And here's what the Rockets' schedule looks like. On Monday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming into town. Then on Wednesday... They'll take on John Wall and the Chicago Bulls. You know, some might look ahead at the schedule and start marking off how many wins they'll wind up with, but I think that's a trap. You can't take any nights off in the NBA, and you've got to stay in the moment. Houston making some changes. Green comes in for Daniel House, and it's Gordon in for McLemore. Got a switch here also for Cleveland. Kevin Love's checked in for Larry Nance. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Sexton finds Thompson. Garland with it. From deep. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's Harden. Again, what an avalanche. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. There's the double team with West. And here's Love for three. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got five assists in the game. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Rockets. They trail by 16. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up maybe the best ever at earning free throws. I mean, Harden has mastered the art of contact and still being able to get off the shot. James Harden. Two shots. First free throw is good. Doris, you and I know the quality of play in the NBA bubble was terrific. And some people have said a lack of travel, a possible reason why. The league, we think, looking at ways to reduce travel moving forward. Exactly, Kevin. And one option on the table is the, quote, series model. You see it in baseball, where you play consecutive games against a single opponent. So what about the states with multiple teams, New York or California? Can you play all of those teams in one trip? This not only preserves players, but it also cuts travel expenses, something the league is looking hard at. Got that one up quick. Dimes got 47 points. 
And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Now here's Drummond following the miss by Russell Westbrook. And they pick up two. 49 points for Dimes. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Here's Westbrook. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Here's Sullivan. And another one falls. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Harden outside. Puts up a three. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And another three for Cleveland. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Here's Westbrook. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Russell Westbrook is an elite talent. He knows how to make tough shots. And after over a decade with the Thunder, last season, Russell Westbrook starting fresh with the Rockets, a superstar pairing with longtime friend James Harden. Okoro, he's checked in for Cleveland. And Greg, there were some legitimate questions about Harden and Westbrook and how they would play together. Westbrook, not the floor spacer they look to put around Harden. And that preceded their moves at the trade deadline. I mean, committing to small ball. Westbrook, the lone non-shooter from distance, unlocked, though, to attack the paint. There's the pass to Sullivan. Another three for Cleveland. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here is Harden. And with small ball catching on, it's the rare team Doris that looks to go big and play bully ball. Why hasn't that approach been more popular? Well, to me, Kevin, the NBA game is one that's in constant evolution. So right now, the emphasis is three-point shooting, free throw opportunities, and restricted area opportunities. That seems to be the most efficient way to play the game of basketball. On the defensive end, what that requires is positionless players, guys in the post who can guard the perimeter, switchability. All the versatility you can bring to bear on the defensive end is significant, and so that's why bully ball becoming harder and harder to play in today's NBA. Here's Dimes. James Harden picking up that last basket. To the middle, here's Garland. Love trying to break loose. And there's Garland. That's good on the assist by Drummond. Drummond's got assist number five here tonight. Now here's Harden. A floater. Another bucket. Wow. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far. Well, we know that injury ended Darius Garland's college career right at its infancy. But this guy smartly used his recovery time to focus on getting ready for the NBA. And boy, he's proven he can be a gifted player. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Rockets trail by 19. Westbrook up top. And finished off by Westbrook. Well, Russell Westbrook is as powerful a dunker as there is in the league. You almost feel bad for the rim. Pass to Sullivan. Cleveland moving the ball around. And it's Love missing. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. And the Cavaliers call time here. And 
And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Dimes. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard J.B. Bickerstaff talking with his team. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? And so Westbrook will bring it up for Houston. And here's Gordon from outside. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got assist number eight now on the night. Sullivan, the pass to Love. To the paint, Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. What you love about this is there's an unselfish nature to Kevin Love's game, and I believe that's contagious. Westbrook with it. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. And he makes the first. What extraordinary growth for Russell Westbrook coming out of UCLA. This guy is so athletic, perhaps the most athletic guard to play the position. The Cavaliers leading by 12. From the stripe, yet another bucket. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Pass to Harden. And again! And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA, really taking it to the opposition. Passes it to Okoro. Unloads from 13. And there's Love. That's good on the assist from Okoro. Well, Kevin Love specializes in finding the open space on the floor. Pays off with a nice catch and shoot. Right side, Green. Goes back up. That's all you. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Cavaliers leading by 14. Sullivan the pass to Love. He kicks it to Okoro. And there's the pass to Sullivan. Shoots the three. Out to the wing. He shoot again. Connects again. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense. GA really taking it to the opposition. right side. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Love's got five rebounds tonight. Yeah, it's been about the rebounding. Really, that's the dividing line in this game. Tries it from 19. Here's Drummond, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Pursues the offensive glass with purpose. Drummond knows who he is, and, and boy, does he attack it. And that one, good. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Pass to Drummond. Here's Dimes. Left side, low. Rocket six. Pass to Drummond. Over old Quinn. Love dishes to Drummond. Here's Sullivan. He got it again. Sensational. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. Harden kicks to Green. Outside Westbrook. Harden the pass to Westbrook. Fires from deep. Drills it from outside. Westbrook's got 35 in the game. Well, Russell Westbrook, he's not super efficient from three, but if you give one, he's going to give it right back. And Drummond throws it down. Out, out. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. 
This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Timeout called the Rockets. They're behind by 18. 135 left in the fourth quarter. Houston with a big group substitution here. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Cephalosha comes in for Jeff Green. McLemore's checked in for Eric Gordon. And it's Frazier in for James Harden. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Cavaliers. What an effort in the transition game we've seen tonight from these guys. Really pushed the ball and I, I think in, in doing so created a lot of pressure on the defense. I definitely had a huge edge and this is their DNA. When they run the ball and dictate the flow of the offense like we've seen here, these are the kinds of games they can have. And when you look at the season for these guys, they have amassed a lot of wins, 57, and adding in tonight, it'll make it 58. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-gamer. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Dimes. Well, unselfish basketball. His ability to create for others has been the story of this game. Here's McLemore. Following the basket by Kevin Love. All by himself, trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. Osman, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that, and then some. Houston making a switch here. Bob is checked in, takes it up with both hands, and rips it down. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Inside, here's Love. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Love's got 32 points. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. And Frazier drops them both. And Love's got the ball here for Cleveland. And it's McGee with the jam. A oh, fantastic dunk. And, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. And, and that was the last thing they needed. Now the clock is stopped, and they put them on the line. Two shots. That one is no good. Here is Windler, covered by Cephalosha. Yes, that goes in. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Here's McLemore. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel <laughs> at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Kevin, congrats on the win. Are you guys gaining confidence, and what are you figuring out? Uh, just that we need to... Uh... Continue continuity. We really need to pick it up on the defensive end. Offense, we can get whatever we want really at any time, but the defense is where we're going to need to get better. That is somewhere we have to tighten up, Kevin. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.